<laughs> he was an aspiring rapper, his mum said, who loved life. Three days ago, Shakur Pinnock died after his e-scooter collided with a car. He was just 20. Shakur was fond of loving, caring, giving, forgiving, loved life, innocent. He'd spent a week on a life support machine with serious head injuries. His girlfriend, Shante, who'd been a passenger on the scooter, is also still in hospital. She was taken to see him so she could hold his hand. He died just days later. Shakur's mum had been praying for a miracle, hoping he'd pull through. I was beseeching and pleading to the doctor, please do not turn off the machines or anything. And then he looked at me and he says, I'm not giving Shaki time. I'm giving you time. The crash happened on a Saturday afternoon on this road in Wolverhampton. The car driver who wasn't injured isn't under arrest and is helping officers with their inquiries. But Shakur is now the second person known to have died riding an e-scooter in the UK. Despite privately owned e-scooters being illegal on public roads, only rentals as part of government trials are permitted and then not on pavements. Celine wants more regulation and is warning riders about their use. Because he sustained so much brain injury, definitely um, headwear or what you call a helmet should be mandatory. Celine says she doesn't want anyone to go through what she has. Sejal Karia, ITV News, Wolverhampton.